Hi, this is Brent from Studio One Expert. In the last two videos, we looked at how we could use the Vocal Rider and the CLA 76 to control and tame our vocal. In this video, we're going to be using our final compressor in the chain, and that's the CLA 2A. The CLA 2A is an emulation of the Teletronics LA 2A, which is an optical compressor. If we pull up the CLA 2A here, we'll see it differs from the CLA 76 as it doesn't have any control over attack and release parameters. The CLA 2A is a lot slower and a little bit more natural sounding than the CLA 76. And for this reason, I like to use it after a 76 style compressor because it helps give it overall leveling of the performance, whereas the 76 catches the peaks and the transients. This way, the cascaded compression with the Vocal Rider, the CLA 76, and finally the LA 2A will give us a really nice balanced vocal, and none of these compressors are working too hard and pumping. So let's take a listen to what the CLA 2 is doing on this track. I've been wondering if you can remember me Cause I can't get you off of my mind And I think about you all of the time so to me it sounds like the peak reduction is a little bit too hard hitting there and we need to bring up some of the gain as well because it's brought it down quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the peak reduction and I'm just going to slightly increase the gain and see if that gets us any closer. I've been wondering if That's a bit hot now. You can remember just going to slightly increase the peak reduction. That's about where I want it. But no more than sort of minus three to minus five dB of reduction. I've been wondering if you can remember me. That seems to be sitting really well after the CLA 76. Now, the compression here and the limit, the compressor sits at a 3 to 1 ratio and the limit sits at a 100 to 1 ratio. So I'm going to keep it in compress mode and there's also an option down here to emulate some of the power supply hum that is on the original unit. I'm going to leave that off because I don't want to add any additional noise to my vocal. There is a control here I do want to use though and the high frequency roll off allows you to have a bit more control of the low end. It's sort of like a side chain filter and this will be a great way of trying to tame more of the deessing and the sibilance in the vocal. So we see the needle's not working as hard now so we could probably increase the peak reduction. You can remember me Cause I can get you off of my mind That sounds really good there And I can hear it's taming a lot of the sibilance without any DSing going on at all I've been wondering if I'm gonna bypass the plugin me, cause I can And there's no overall level increasing It's and just I leveling the entire vocal out perfectly And it's controlling the sibilance so I think that's doing a really good job there and I love the way it's sounding. It's adding some nice weight to the vocal, meaning that we don't have to make any further EQ moves. And that's one great thing about the LA2 is it adds some really nice harmonic colour and saturation. So I hope you got something out of this and I'll see you in the next one.